And this is the place to be here on your election command center across all media journal platforms 24 days to election day december 7 bring you everything you need to know but there's a statement that's coming through from the electoral commission right now and we're going to give that to you and it's going to be on the screen right now according to the electoral commission they have finished printing ballot papers almost done for the presidential and parliamentary and this is the schedule for the distribution of the ballot papers across the country to all the 16 regions. So beginning tomorrow, the Greater Accra Region Presidential Parliamentary Ballot Papers will be dispatched Friday the 15th of November, Central, Western, Savannah, Upper West Region. By 12 noon, the dispatch will start. Saturday 16th November, Ashanti, Ahafo, Western, North. 12 noon, they'll start dispatching the ballot papers to the various constituencies and Sunday 17th November 2024 Eastern Upper East Northeast 12 noon same time they will dispatch to the the ballot papers to these regions Monday 18th November 2024 Northern Bono East Bono region the ballot papers will be dispatched and then the final one Volta and OT will be on Tuesday the 19th of November 2024 so the, this is the schedule for transportation of the ballot papers to the various regions as communicated by the Electoral Commission in the statement that they released not too long ago. And that's a concern, really, and that's coming up next here on Dana Tonight. The Electoral Commission, although had put out this schedule, it's coming up next. The issue of Ekiadonko still being on the ballot paper never seems to go away, even though the Electoral Commission has explained why they would want Hess to still be on it. However, the flag bearer of the Liberal Party of Ghana, LPG, Kofi Akbalu, wants the commission to reprint the presidential ballot papers to take out Ekiadonko, the late. Well, let's hear from EC Chair Jen Adokwe Mensa exactly why the commission decided to still go ahead to use this ballot papers with a, the, the deceased, the, the late Ekiadonko's picture on it. Take a look. We are here to inform you of the Commission's decision to maintain the presidential ballot as it is. We are almost 90% complete with the printing of presidential ballots. The Commission would like to inform you that the printing would proceed on the current ballot as is in the interest of time and to save this country millions of CDs. Well, so there are two issues the Electoral Commission raised there, the time and then also the, the cost issues. And that's led to this consideration of Ekia Donko, the late still being on the ballot paper that is going to be used for the presidential elections on December 7. Kofi Akpalo leads the LPG. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. First of all, why the concern? Because the Electoral Commission has ex just explained, as I just played to you there, at the IPAC meeting yesterday were you there and did you raise any issues when the ec chair put out this explanation oh, oh unfortunately i wasn't at the ipac yesterday and uh, my general secretary was there and he made it uh he made the ec aware that we as a party don't support that uh, stance that the electoral commission has taken you see if they can, if they're talking about money, money here, money is not an issue. Money shouldn't be a problem. And then money shouldn't be a reason why we are not going to remove a on the ballot. Assuming the candidate who tried to stood in for, to, sorry, to stand in for a Kedonko had managed to sail through, we would have printed a new ballot of papers. Now, uh, this guy was not able to go through. Doesn't mean that we should not print new ballot paper. And also, if like, assuming uh, one of the major parties like uh, MPP candidate had passed away, assuming the MPP candidate had passed away, mm, are we going to say that because MPP candidate has passed away, we're not going to print new ballot papers? Or assuming the NDC candidate had passed away, are we going to say we're not going to print new papers? 
So that money thing that they're talking about, I, they're using as an excuse. It's not, it's not something that is tenable. We have to throw it away and then print new ballot papers so that we have peaceful elections. Because they see is uh, advocating that they are going to uh, educate people or they're going to create the awareness that uh, a quote unquote voting for a quote unquote will right. be invalid. But yes. uh, have we asked ourselves how many, how many people were listening to the radio or watch television? Oh, well, I mean, but I, most I, of the Ghanaians they don't even watch TV or they don't I, even. I, I don't know. To I don't know why you're getting this. Course. I don't know why you're getting this information from that most Ghanaians don't watch TV or, or listen to the radio. But th I disagree with you on that. But I, I don't know why you're getting this. In fact, there are hundreds of people who are watching you tonight, right now. Okay, and and that cuts across. At least I can speak for what we do here on TV3 and, and, and across all media journal platforms. People watch and they listen and, and they would get to know how things are playing out as well. So what are you going to do? I mean, b beyond this, because you were not at the IPAC meeting yesterday. So then what next? Uh, actually, we uh, drew the attention to it that uh, as a party, we don't support it. And uh, they should rethink uh, about their decision. Okay, we'll see how the coming days will look like on this matter. And, but I thank you. And that's, just, that's Kofi Akpalu, he leads the LPG, that's Liberal Party of Ghana. It's a presidential candidate of the party going into this election. And you had the Electoral Commission as well explaining why they've decided to, to go with this ballot papers with a cure on corner. Yesterday when we asked Dr. Ashi Tanko, who was at the IPAC meeting, he had indicated that all the votes that will go to Electoral Donko would now... Uh, be, be counted as, as invalid. And that's the question that was put to, to them, that's the Electoral Commission yesterday as well. But this is your election command center.